Right, so this week's tip comes from uh, Matt Fisher, but the more aptly named Mr. Short Game, as his channel's known. And don't forget, in all these videos, I'd encourage you to go and check out their channels for plenty of tips. And he specifically specializes in short game tips, and trust me, well worth a listen. The other important bit to mention at this point is this is my interpretation of that lesson. And if you want the more detailed explanation, then obviously you should go to the original video, which I'll link in my uh, description down below. But onto today's video, which came as a tip from Bob Vokey to Matt Fisher, Mr. Short Game. This one tip changed his chipping game. I want to know if it's going to change mine. So how many of you, like me, have struggled with the chipping over the years? And I think it comes to us all at some point where you lack a little bit of confidence. You'll either be thinning them, you'll be chunking them, you'll be doing something that's not quite right. And it's a, such a frustrating part. Getting the ball from tee to green is the hard bit. And then a little bit of a chip around it. And all of a sudden you've bladed one through the back and cost yourself all kinds of trouble. This tip, I must admit, when I first watched it, and I think you'll be the same, I really questioned it. And... Uh, it's because of the way in which you put the club at address, which is the big deal. You've heard the phrase, bounce is your friend. I think it's a phrase that's commonly used within golf and within chipping when you're talking about wedges. And I've never really understood what that meant until I watched this video. So the first thing you need to do is you need to lay the club open a little bit at address. So that means just sort of leaning it back a little bit if you like. And what you're going to do, you're going to present the wedge to the ball and it's going to feel like the wedge or the leading edge of your wedge is almost at the middle of the ball. And this is the bit that confused me a little because when I address the ball with, uh, with the leading edge literally sat as it is, and you can see some close-ups now of what I mean, the immediate thought process in our brain is we're gonna thin it. That's what I'm thinking, I'm gonna bring that ball, uh, that club head right back to the position it started from, and I'm just gonna thin that right off exactly what we're not trying to do. And that doesn't happen, trust me. So naturally, my address would be sort of like that with the leading edge flush to this tight lie on the turf. But what we're suggesting is, or what Mr. Short Game is, that we lay this club face open, so effectively our blade, like I said, is looking like it's gonna come in at that angle and this is the bit that I'm concerned about. But what actually happens is by using the bounce and hitting the turf, so you literally, you can just feel yourself catching the turf underneath, then the bounce almost sort of slides the club along. Let's give that a go. And just flicks it right up in the air. And I wish we had a camera going the other way because that's I've almost played that one-handed and it's popped the ball up. So the basic principle of the routine is this, like I said, present that club uh, laid back, whatever you want to call it, open um, at address and feel as though that blade of the club, the leading edge is, like I said, pointing at that ball. But have confidence to do it. Trust me, it works. There's a bit of doubt in your mind, but what you've got to do and what uh, Mr. Short Game, I'll call him, encourages you to do, it's just an arm movement. So it's a through, hit the ground, feel that bounce hitting the ground. And I think that's the key. If you, if you don't commit to that sort of full swing, if you like, or a committed swing, don't be stopping. Full swing through, letting the bounce, feeling the bounce of that club, the sole of the club, whatever you want to call it, feeling it hit the ground. That's the key for me in what makes the difference. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try it from a, a distance because everything we've tried so far, and believe me, another thing to mention, when I chip, most of my chips are generally on Lynx Golf and I, I hit a chip and run and it's a fairly flat ball flight. What this does is it pops the ball up nice and high and nice and easy and you've seen from the shots we've done so far, that's what it does. But if we're playing this now 60 yard shot, does it work? And there's the same principle, exactly the same. So we've got a front pin that we've been trying to get at from a number of different angles on this green. But what happens when we try a full shot Thank you. 
Wow. Do you know what? This is so good. Sit down. Oh, hopefully we picked up the flight on this camera, the wider lens, because it's incredible just how high it floats the ball up. And genuinely, I am absolutely amazed at how this principle works. Like I said, when I first watched it and seen that idea of presenting this blade halfway up the ball, if you like, I just, that didn't, that doesn't resonate in my brain as to what's going to happen. But trust me, 100%, if you're struggling with your short game, this is something you really need to try out. At the end of the day, don't forget, this was passed on by Bob Vokey to Matt Fisher. And who are we to argue with Bob Vokey? This thing works. Now, as you can see, I'm not going to kid anyone, this wasn't all plain sailing. There was a few occasions where I caught it a little bit heavy. And also, um, maybe distance control is something you'd have to work on. Again, it's something brand new to me in terms of a technique that I've not used. But the, the reasons, if I thought, why did I, why did I catch that one heavy? There was one particular bad shot that I'd thrown in there. And that was, again, it was kind of that non-committal sort of jabbing at it. I think the one thing I did and the one thing that um, I'd encourage anyone to do is take a good few practice swings beforehand and make sure you're striking that turf before ball and then commit to the shot, which seems like obvious because that's the same thing in every uh, golf shot that we try and execute. But I did notice on the ones I got wrong, it was more down to me perhaps a little bit quitting on it, slowing down, and then it went wrong. But I'm going to end this video here because it's a short one. There's not much more I can tell you about it. All I can say is I can't believe how easy it's popped the ball up. I can't believe how it divided what I thought it would do. It's a fantastic tip, and if you're struggling with your chipping, then 100% go and give this a go, and I reckon you'll get immediate results just like I did. Don't forget, if you want more detail, go and check out Mr. Short Game's channel. Make sure you go and subscribe and check out all of his uh, tips, which are well worth a watch. As ever, thanks for watching this one. Uh, comment down below. Have you tried this? Did you understand bounce in the first place? Are you using it to your own advantage? I love your feedback and I'll see you soon.